Hello everyone and welcome to this special video about Globe's G-Invest. So sa loob ng G-Invest, meron tayong limang funds and a lot of people are asking me, alin ba dito yung pipiliin ko? Saan ba ako dito mag invest We already had a video discussing kung paano ba yung Globe G-Invest, yung walkthrough natin. Pero during that time, uh, isa pa lang yung available na funds. But this time, available na yung limang funds sa loob ng G-Invest. And I would like to take this time para isa-isahin itong mga to. So for this video, we will try to answer yung question ninyo na dito sa limang choices nyo na G-Invest funds, where should you invest? First of all, itong limang funds na to are all unit investment trust funds that is being managed by ATRAM or yung ATR Asset Management Company which is one of the leading asset management companies in the country. So for today, we will discuss each one and I will tell you ano ba yung opinion ko dito and I will also show you yung historical performance niya for the past five years. And lastly, I will also give my recommendation kung tama ba itong investment fund para sa iyong investment goal or iyong financial plan. First of all, yung mga funds sa loob ng G-Invest, lima sila. Merong isang conservative fund, merong isang moderate risk fund, at merong tatlong high risk fund. So, punta muna tayo sa mga low risk or conservative funds. So, as you can see, meron tayong Atram Peso Money Market Fund. And one of the things that I would like to highlight is yung nakikita nyo na data na displayed for the past 12 weeks. That's uh, a little bit misleading for me. Kasi pag mag invest ka, it's always good to see yung historical performance niya, lalo na yung nangyari sa kanya for the past several years. But in any case, itong investment uh, fund na to, this is classified as conservative and it usually invest sa mga time deposits, sa mga iba't ibang banko, tsaka mga government bonds or treasury bonds. So, ang minimum investment dito ay 50 pesos and for the past year, ang return niya ay 0.56%. Para sa akin, hindi masyadong importante yung past one-year return. Ang pinaka-importante talaga sa akin dito ay yung fund risk rating niya, which is conservative. And as I mentioned, we have to look at the historical performance. Galing sa uitf.com.ph, yung mga graphs na ipapakita ko sa inyo, and this has been the performance of the fund for the past five years. So kung makikita nyo, slow and steady growth siya. And uh, for the past two or three years, medyo nagpa-plateau siya. That's why this fund is deemed to be conservative or low risk. And kung ikaw ay merong pera na balak mong gamitin within two to three years and ayaw mo siyang ma-expose sa medyo mataas na risk, then this is your choice of investment. So yung mga gustong itago lang yung pera nila for safekeeping, then you can definitely invest it sa Atram Peso Money Market Fund. Ang next na i-discuss natin ay yung moderate risk funds. Of course, ang moderate risk funds para sa ating mga medium-term goals. Or in other words, kung ang pera na i-invest mo ay balak mong gamitin within 3 to 7 years, then this is your choice. Ang nag-iisang available na moderate risk fund sa loob ng G-Invest ay itong Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. So makikita natin sa fund risk rating niya na it is a moderate risk fund. So this uh, fund primarily invest sa mga government and corporate bonds. At makikita nyo naman sa fund description na its goal is to preserve the principal with potential for capital gains. Yung past one year return niya is 7.56%. But again, this is misleading because bonds in general performed well in 2020. And I will not actually try to analyze yung nakikita natin na graph dito kasi past 12 weeks lang naman yan. So let's look at the past five years na performance ng uh, Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. So, katulad ng nasabi ko, this is a moderate risk fund. So you can expect a little bit of volatility pagdating sa prices niya. So makikita nyo may mga sharp declines sa prices. But in general, over the long term, ay pataas din naman siya. 
So again, this is a moderate risk fund. So kung yung financial goal ninyo is within 3 to 5 or up to 7 years, then this is a good choice to invest in. The next type of funds that we will discuss ay yung mga high risk o yung mga aggressive funds. The first on the list is again a local UITF which is the Atram Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund. So being an index fund, syempre pina-follow lang nito or tina-track nito yung Philippine Index. If we look at the historical performance of this fund, makikita natin na parang sideways lang siya which is expected dahil for the past 5 years talagang sideways lang din naman ang ating uh, Philippine index and if you compare this to other equity index funds parang pareho lang din yung shape niya being a fund that invests in the stock market it is expected na ang fund risk rating niya ay aggressive however of course this is just my opinion Kung mag invest ka na rin sa isang index fund, para sa akin, ang best choice is yung FM ETF o yung First Metro Exchange Traded Fund. But of course, that requires you to have a stockbroker. And kung wala pa, then this is a good choice kasi syempre, Globe Gcash lang yung kailangan mo to be able to invest in an index fund. Being an aggressive or a high-risk fund, of course, this is for your long-term financial goals. And uh, para talaga yung pera sa mga long-term goals mo, like retirement or college education ng anak mo 10, 15 years from now, then this is a good choice for you. The next fund that is inside G-Invest is itong Atram Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund. So ang minimum initial investment na nito ay 1,000 pesos. Of course, this is a feeder fund which means yung pera dito ay ini-invest din sa isang global fund. And ang composition nung, nung kinokopya na fund nito are primarily mga, mga US stocks. So as a fund that invests in the global market, ang expected na fund risk rating nito is aggressive. So now let's look at the historical performance of the Atram Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund. So kung makikita natin yung Atram Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund, mukhang nagsimula lang siya noong 2020. And as expected, uh, pataas yung trend nito dahil talaga namang maganda yung naging performance ng mga US stocks noong 2020 during the pandemic. So kung makikita nyo from 2020 na 100 na yung price ng net asset value per unit, uh, umakit siya up to 200 in a span of a year. So yung historical performance does not indicate na ganun din yung mangyayari in the future. So be very careful. Kung mag invest ka dito, hindi ibig sabihin do doble din yung pera mo by next year. So if you want to invest in the Atram Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund, dapat number one, yung iyong risk tolerance is aggressive and more importantly so dapat yung pera na i-invest mo dito is for your long-term goals hindi mo pagagamitin yung pera within the next 5 years or 7 years because of this pandemic actually personally ginagawa ko ng 7 years or more dapat ang iyong long-term investment horizon kapag ang financial goal mo is within 3 to 7 years Usually, nire-recommend ko in recent months na sa moderate risk investment mo na lang siya ilagay. Makikita natin na yung past uh, one-year return nito ay 82.62%. Baka mamaya ay umasa kayo na ganyan din kalaki yung kikitain ninyo. So hindi, always remember that your investment decisions should match your risk tolerance and your financial goals. Lastly, yung pinakahuli na investment fund sa loob ng G-Invest is yung Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. Marami akong kilala na pinipili ito kasi kitang-kita mo naman sa kanyang graph. Napakaganda. Pero again, huwag niyong papaniwalaan or huwag niyong ibibase yung buong desisyon niyo doon sa nakikita niyo na graph. Kasi this is just for the past 12 weeks. And uh, very misleading din yung past one-year return niya kasi 76.32%. 
Again, this is an aggressive fund. So, this is really for your long-term goals. Yung pera na ilalagay mo dito para na ako sirang plaka is dapat yung pera na hindi mo gagamitin in the next seven years. Pag tinignan mo yung kanyang historical performance, uh, it is trending up, but being a high-risk type of investment, makikita mo na ganun din, no? very volatile, medyo malaki yung ups and downs niya. So again, I would like to remind you that if you are going to invest sa G-Invest, I hope that you can choose the right fund for your risk tolerance and also for your financial goals. So ibig sabihin kung ang binigay sa iyo ng G-Invest ay uh, conservative investor, then baka mas maganda na dun ka na lang muna sa conservative type of investment. Ngayon kung ang binigay sa iyo ay aggressive type of investor, then definitely you can invest sa mga aggressive types. However, you should ask yourself, kailan ko ba gagamitin tong pera na to? Kung gagamitin mo yung pera na i-invest mo within 2 years or less, then dapat doon ka sa conservative type. Kung gagamitin mo yung pera within 3 to 7 years, doon ka sa moderate risk or doon sa moderate type of investment. Ngayon kung i-invest mo ay for your long-term financial goals, tapos ang binigay sa'yo na risk rating ay aggressive, then definitely you can check out yung mga global feeder funds na available sa G-Invest. So that's my very simple and short review of the G-Invest funds. And I hope na tulungan ko kayo para mag-decide kung saan ba kayo mag-i-invest. That's it and thank you for watching.